What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So the closest thing ever that we'll get to it chapter 3 is now looking like it's coming closer to being a thing over at HBO Max because we have learned that a series, a prequel series is now in the works over at HBO Max. It hasn't officially been greenlit, but I believe the Ankler was the first source to actually report this and they kind of assumed that the that the narrative about this prequel series would revolve around the town of Derry and it would go into the origins of Pennywise of course the shapeshifter that stalks the town of Derry every 27 years and has been there for m many hundreds of years uh, before even human civilization was there but Variety has seemed to have disclosed a little bit more info about this they said a prequel to it is in development at HBO Max and the series currently called Welcome to Derry will begin in the 1960s to the time leading up to the events of it part one the story is also said to include the origin story of Pennywise the Clown. Andy Muschietti, who directed It Part 1 and the second one, It Part 2, is attached to executive produced this series along with Barbara Muschietti and Jason Fuchs. According to sources, the Muschietti's and Fuchs developed the story for the show with the Fuchs writing the script. Andy would also direct the first episode should the project go to series and the writer's room for it has already been assembled for the most part. Uh, so, you know, at this point, if the series isn't greenlit, I just want to talk about the idea that if this happens, this is, again, the closest thing we can get to it, Chapter 3. And we've already had this type of rumbling for many years in between it, Chapter 2 and now, uh, even in between it, Chapter 1 or it, Part 1 and it, Chapter 2. There were rumblings, you know, Andy Mad Andy Muschietti, not Matichak, he's gone on record to state that uh, there's a lot to explore regarding the, the town of Derry. And Pennywise, of course, has been around for many years. I know that the films themselves have changed a lot of the timeline in regards to when certain events happen. So, like, if the series itself would actually be set in the 60s, leading, leading up to what happened in It Chapter 1, maybe they could explore the whole black spot incident where the where it was burnt down and we know um they could touch on some other stuff that has gone on in the town of Derry that wasn't necessarily i guess documented because the the shapeshifter itself which we know it's its most favorite form at this stage is pennywise we know that even when it's in its slumber it has a hold over this town it has some type of magnificent mind control that even when it's in its slumber it's kind of acting as the source for all of these hate crimes to go on and all of these crimes that just happen in general in the town of Derry. it's some type of malevolent force that just causes all this chaos to ensue in Derry, and then it awakens every 27 years to feed off of children because children are the easiest to manipulate and spark terror in and the shapeshifter finds something delicious in them all. Now, as far as like whether anyone from the movies themselves that we got in 2017, 2019 will be participating in it, that's not official. But if this is indeed latched on to what we have already seen from the 2017, 2019 movies, I know a lot of you would want to have uh, Bill Skarsgård back in the role of Pennywise and would want to see him, you know, carry this mantle even further in a prequel series. Because I'm certain that if this is a series that's again set in the 60s, this will be before Pennywise had awakened in the late 80s where the uh, first movie was set at. This will be before that. They could explore the black spot being burnt down. Then they could also touch on, I guess, some other undocumented things that have gone on in the 60s leading up to what happens in the first movie. But all in all, that might mean we won't see very much of Pennywise because as far as like them touching on the origins of it in the 60s, Pennywise wouldn't be awake. So as far as like flashbacks, that's the only way we'll be seeing him. Who knows anything regarding like what the character character names will be as far as like who will be focused on if this is set in the 60s prior to what happened in the film. They could just do a whole thing where we are introduced to characters that have nothing to do with the actual black spot incident and kind of just keep it based off the novel, but then still tweaking the source material, taking your liberty with it. And giving us a whole slew of new characters, set it in the 60s. These characters can go over the origins of the town a little bit, talk about Pennywise. And that's how we get flashbacks of Pennywise, have Bill Skarsgård factored in. But maybe this is going to just be a more of a deep dive into 
uh, not necessarily Pennywise itself, but more so its hold it has over the town of Derry and all these all these terrible crimes and incidents that have gone on in this town because of its presence. And then lead us into the more than uh, more than astonishingly great <laughs> first installment. And then, of course, that led us to the second one, which I know a lot of a lot of people don't really like. Thought it was a bit of a step down, which I can agree with. It has some pacing issues, too, but not to go into a tangent on what's wrong with it. Chapter two. But I would love to see this happen. I would love for this to officially be greenlit. I would love for it to come into fruition, become its own entity. And again, act as the closest thing we'll have to it. Chapter three with the TV series. You have a lot more opportunities to develop characters a little bit more uh, dive into some other aspects of the lore of Pennywise a bit more because that is going to be something that's factored into it. I'm sure I just feel like what it'll be more about is a deep dive into the heinous crimes that go on in Derry because of Pennywise's presence because again if it's set in the 60s Pennywise shouldn't be awake at this time we could go into details as to how it came to favor this identity because the film itself the second one in particular teases us that uh Pennywise was actually a a actual person and maybe this shapeshifter just decided to take on this form for whatever reason after maybe it possessed that individual or maybe again it's just taking on that form because that's what it seems to draw the most fear out of children with uh but we know it can take the form of anything that people fear the most i would love to take a deep dive into the town of Derry. the novel itself is one of the best things i've ever had the pleasure of reading uh, we know Stephen King, he's pretty much a horror master when it comes to his novels. So we'll see if this gets greenlit. I know a lot of you would also love to see it happen. Those of you who are fans of the original two films, also a fan of the miniseries. And if there's a chance for Tim Curry to be involved, I'm not against that either. I think Bill Skarsgård and Tim Curry both do their own unique things with Pennywise. I know a lot of you have your favorites one over the other. Uh, if I had to say which one I prefer, I guess I would say Bill Skarsgård. But that's not to discredit anything from Tim Curry. Tim Curry was just the one that I grew up with for a long period of time. And then I saw something very fresh in my late teen years with Bill Skarsgård that I just kind of latched onto a bit more. But let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below. If you have already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can miss a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.